And finally, Crown Princess Melia's accession will take place one year from today. Until such time, as decreed by the Crown Princess, I shall assume Imperial duties as Regent. If there is anyone who objects to said decision, state your grievances now. All the ministries are unanimous. We have no objection to Her Majesty's decree. To each and every one of you, our thanks. If I may, Your Highness, I would like to propose a roundtable discussion on strategy concerning the Mekon. Ah, what to do about the Mekon? Our defenses must be shored up immediately. Not only our defenses, Your Highness. Do you suggest an offensive approach? While the capital still licks its wounds? The Ministry of Research has the ideal solution. Friends act strange. A friend sad. Ah, oh, Ricky sad too, because of empty belly. Ricky, we already ate. Us Homs don't get upset just because we're hungry. Not hungry? Oh, Hom Hom must have small bellies. Oh, Ricky jealous. Oh, we've got to get our minds off this somehow. Dumban's locked himself away ever since we came back. Hmm. Is it because of the girl who was operating that mech on? Melia. How are you? What do you mean? If you were talking about father, I'm fine. I have no choice but to look to the future. You're stronger than me, Melia. Do not mock me. More importantly, it is time you tell me who she is. We've known her all our lives. We thought she was killed in Colony 9. She didn't even recognize us. She's not the Fiora I remember. It looked a lot like Fiora. But if it was her, then I can't imagine how Dumban feels. What did he mean? Fiora is Dumban's sister. <gasps> I didn't know. Is this Fiora important to Shulk? Important? She's more than important. She's the reason we're out here. If that really was Fiora, why didn't she reply to me? Fiora. I'd better talk to Dunban. He'll know something.
I've been looking for you. So this is where you were. Shulk. Apologies. Was everyone worried? Of course. Me especially. Hmm? It's just... I've been thinking about Fiora. And I can't help wondering. Wondering what? You saw how Fiora acted. It was like she didn't even recognize us. Yes. It's unsettling. But Shulk, don't get me wrong. I'm not sad. Even if she doesn't recognize me, I'm glad to know she's alive. Dunban! You see, Fiora was born many years after me. And, not long afterwards, we lost our father to a Mekon. It was left to me to protect and raise her, almost like a father. I was always jealous that she had you as her brother. Ah, yes. You and Fiora used to be inseparable. Yeah. I need to tell you something. I always thought if Fiora were to be with anyone, it should be you. What? But Ryan hangs out with her just as much as me. Yeah, he does. But Fiora doesn't like him in that way. Oh. I see. He's a nice guy. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. All reckless and hot-headed. Probably why he's not right for her. Listen, Shulk. Yes? A lost life can never be returned. But she's alive. It doesn't matter that she's lost her memory. Yeah. I guess you're right. Fiora and I have spent our entire lives together. The memory of that can't have disappeared completely. It's up to us. We have to help her remember. Help me, Shulk. Help me get her back. You know I will. Okay. Let's go tell the others. Hey, they're back. Have you gathered your thoughts? Yes. Sorry to be a nuisance. Shulk? You too? Yep. All thanks to Dunban. I'm glad. Forgive me, His Highness Callion summons you. You think something's happened? We won't know until we get there. I apologize for calling you at short notice. It's fine. Is anything wrong? I must apologize to you all. Forgive our hubris. <laughs> we High Entia were arrogant enough to idly sit behind our defenses, safe in the knowledge that Mekonis lies a great distance from our land, and we were wrong. Our decision to ignore the Mekon assault on your homeland was wrong. Your Highness, does this mean...? Yes, Shulk. We will face the dangers ahead together. Brother! Which leads me to my request. After setting eyes on a group consisting of Homs, Nopon, and Hyentia alike, 
I realized an allied army must be formed. I ask that you act as ambassadors for the assembly of this force. Tell me your thoughts, Shulk. I need time before I make a decision. Does Shulk not wish to aid us in our mission? I do not believe that to be true. Then why? Shulk has... other people to consider. That wasn't like you, Shulk. I'm sorry. You know you can talk to me. It's Fiora. That's why you're hesitating. Yeah. Knew it. You wouldn't think twice otherwise. I... I just don't know. Find her, Shulk. Melia, I... I used to believe my father did not love me. Until the day he died. If you do not grasp the importance of loved ones until after they are gone, that is simply too late. You're right, Melia. I've made up my mind. I'm going to get Fiora back. You don't have to do this. I'll go and look for her myself. The burden should be mine. No. I want her back as much as you. Leave the ambassador stuff to me, Shulk. I'll probably make a mess of it. But we're a team. You can count on me. I'm afraid that is my duty, Ryan. I am of both High Entia and Hom's blood. I am the Crown Princess, and of mixed heritage. Thus, I am best suited to carry out this task. That means we won't... Yes. I will remain here. We must say goodbye. Is that what you really want? Yes. But promise me, when you find her, you'll come back. I'll be here waiting for you. I don't know what to say. Thank you. It's probably a good idea if I go and tell Callion myself. I am sure he already understands. Besides, it's likely that the ministers are harassing him at this present moment. We should spare him any further inconvenience. Then... this is goodbye. Yes. Come back as soon as you can. We are in great need of your help. Got it. Listen, I'll keep an eye on Shulk for you. <sighs> Whatever can you mean? Well, it's a risky strategy, letting Shulk go off and just hoping he'll come back to you. Shulk and I are merely... Yeah, yeah. But remember, the longer he's away, the more chance his feelings for you will fade. But... Once we find this Fiora, I will personally whisk him back here in a heartbeat. <laughs> Don't give up! Uh, I... Appreciate it. Great. Don't worry, Melia. I'm on your side. Brother? Just on your way out, I see. It's not what... I'm sorry, Your Highness. About your offer. We must... humbly decline. I... See? Very well. Let us hope my sister does not shed too many tears. I stay because I must, brother. There's two millions. Rhyme wrong. This Melly smell different. Yes. We need Melia to learn more of the lands of Bionis. 
but she is still bound to handle public matters. Hence, another Melia. Callian. Your Highness, Crown Princess, as your humble subject, I formally request the following. Speak. I request that you accompany Shulk in his quest to find the Mekon that attacked Alchemoth. Are you sure? Shulk, I am aware of everything. Go forth and follow your heart. There will come a day when we need you, but it is not today. Your Highness, that means a lot to me. That is one cool prince. If only someone had his sensitivity. Sensitivity? Well, I, I, I'm sensitive. Hmm, the jury's out on that one. That's a relief. We have recently received a report that the silver-faced Mekon fled to Galahad Fortress, the Mekon stronghold at Sword Valley. It will be a treacherous path. My sister is in your hands. Thank you, Callian. I will keep her safe. Regent, I accept your request. I will return victorious with Shulk. I am most pleased. Leaving without me? Do you want to come? To reach Galahad Fortress, you will need to travel through Valak Mountain on the right arm of the Bionis. The snow-covered mountains are fraught with danger. Those unfamiliar to them risk never coming back. Of course, you would be familiar with that region. Then there's no point in wasting time. Leave the Allied force to me. I am not known for my diplomacy, but call it pride. I shall succeed. We'll join you as soon as we can. I look forward to the day. Heroes of Bionis, make us proud. You see? Now we're getting some respect. We're back to this again, are we? See you soon, Callian. We will need to traverse Sword Valley if we wish to reach Galahad Fortress. If Colony 6 were in better shape, we could have taken a pod from there. How are we getting there? We will take the path down from the Bionis right arm. Sword Valley is where the arm meets the Mekonis sword. Aha. So that's our route. As I said earlier, it is a snow-covered mountain range, and you should expect a tough climb. Are we all ready? Ready as we'll ever be. Quite. First, we will head through Magna Forest. This short-range pod will be our transport. All aboard, people. Yes?
Sansa is not dead. I feel it. Our tragedy unfolds once again. Lady Maynard? Does that mean... Indeed. I do not doubt that Egil too is aware. However, why free the Monado? Zanza must realize it is now a double-edged sword. And what reason could he have for choosing the boy? What is this? I am experiencing feelings for the boy. Lady Maynard. Venea, your swift repairs are appreciated. Thank you. I wish to see that boy again. To meet with the one who wields the Monado. The boy? But my lady, is that not... Is Egil aware of my reawakening? Uh, he is not. As my lady wished, he knows nothing. Then, there is no need to worry. I shall meet the boy. Besides, the Monado will draw him to me. Flying off without me, eh? Huh? I know you from somewhere. Of course, I remember you. You're Jungburn's little sister. I could go for a hot cup of Dixon's home brew right about now. We're not built for this cold. <sighs> it is to be expected. This climate is as different to your home as it gets. It only snows this high up on the Bionis. <laughs> Ricky hate cold. This can't be nice for Ricky. He's from Matna. A little further down is Sword Valley, right? Yes. But before then, I must show you something. Me? You, Shulk. Do you not see that tall formation that looks like a tower? Ruins, to be precise. Ricky, see it? Bigger than Big Tree in Village. We can rest there. I'll explain everything then.
Ruins. I wonder who built them. Elvis? This the place you meant? Mm hmm. It appears to have frozen over while I have been away. Been away? Pay me no mind. We will need to do something about the ice before we can enter. Throw hot water on ice! Yeah, nice one, genius. Precisely. There should be a geezer nearby. In the cave next to it, we will find a stone called Magma Rock. And we can use this rock to melt the ice. I believe so. So, shall we head to the cave? Sounds good. Start looking for a geezer, everyone.
The letters are worn and difficult to make out, but it's definitely the language of the High End here. They look just like the lettering on Prison Island. If only we could. Just walk inside. This place. Something up, Shulk? No, it's just... I feel like I know this place. Deja vu. I'm not sure, but... I thought I had it. I can't seem to recall. Are you all right? What? Must be tired. Don't worry. This is Ose Tower. Built by the High Entia to house and protect the Monado. The Ceremony of Seers was conducted here. It is also where the Homs found the Monado. Wait, you mean...
So this is where the Monado was kept. My dad took it from here. Have you always been able to see the future? You told me you were from a long line of seers. Did you have the ability from birth? Once, I too came into contact with the Monado. Huh. Those that are to be seers must touch the Monado. And a chosen few receive our power. That is the ceremony of my family. And the ceremony was held right here. Shulk, why do you think we can see the future? I hadn't really thought about it. After I grabbed the Monado, I just saw things. Your visions are the flow of ether itself. Ether is the very source of our world's existence. Where and how much ether there exists now and in the future can be predicted. Therefore, in principle, the future of living beings such as us can also be predicted. And there is one thing that makes possible the visualization of those predictions. You mean... the Monado? The Monado can disrupt the ether, allowing you to release certain powers. Which means... My visions, under the same principle, are there to disrupt the future. With no one to control the outcome, the future will never change. But what if someone were to disrupt the future? What then? The future would be changed. Is that how Zanza planned to defeat the Mechonis? But why go to such lengths? What happened all those years ago? Did you think it was just a myth? I used to only believe in what I could see. My home, my friends, the Monado itself. I knew those things were real. But when you took the Monado in your hand, you gained the ability to see that which was not meant to be seen. Are you saying I should stop? You are... a fluctuation. As a fluctuation, you exist outside the results of your predictions. The more you accept this existence, the more malleable the world becomes. In fact, you have no choice but to accept it. Good morning. Did we sleep well? Oh, I can't feel my face or feet. What do you think? Rain not tell truth. Rain snoring make Ricky think of Orluka. Oi! I don't snore. <laughs> Sword Valley is just around the corner. Thank you. 
Megan. It is you. Hey, that's Fiora! Young heir to the Monado. We meet again. Fiora! Fiora? Is that my name? Then you... you know this body? So it's true. You really don't remember us at all. Fiora, listen! If nothing else, you must remember your family. That's Dunban over there. Family? There is family. Wielder of the Monado. There is a matter I must speak to you about. Fiora! What was that? Metal face. Stay alert! You killed my father! Get him! Get away from her! Now, now, let's all calm down. If I slip, I might mess up her hair. You... You're disgusting! Would you be so kind and hand over that dangerous toy you have? I could take it after I smash you all to a pulp. <laughs> but we wouldn't want that, would we? All right. You can have it. But only if you let her go. There's a good boy. Always eager to please, Shulk. <laughs> but you're... How's it going, Dunman? Is that... Munkar. I thought it might be, but you're to blame for all this. I can't tell you how badly I wanted this sword. Has this puny boy even figured out how it works yet? Uh, what are you willing to do? Uh, Would you even uh, kill a Homs to beat us? You dare ask that of us? Why did you betray us to Mekonis? Why did you kill our friends at the colony? Why? You want to know? Because it's your home. You piece of... Stay where you are. That thing works by remote. So unless you want me to put a hole in her neck... So what's it to be, weaklings? <laughs> Grovel at my feet and beg! <laughs> we will not bow to you! Will you hit bad guy in face? You'll pay for that, princess! You're a traitor, Mumkar, and you're not getting away.
What's happening? Is the boy on his moving? I wanted to get to Monaco so I could be the new hero! Is that it? That's the pure reason you've killed all those innocent people! Ravaged our home! I love this body! <laughs> the power! Advance, you'll never win! Get on your knees and worship me! Never. I will strike you down and all that you have become, you wretched fool. The Monado will stop you, and then you will know the shame of all that you have done, traitor! Shut your mouth and come on! Uh! That light! What the? It's not like the other Mechon. You are right, heir to the Monado. This is the strongest Mechon ever built. Controlled by me, Egil, leader of Mechonis, an agent of Maynet. Leader of Mechonis? So you're the one who controls the Mechon? I am he. We fight to free the world from the tyranny of the Bionis. Why? Why do you trap bombs in machines? What do you want from us? Why make us fight for you? Your questions do not concern me. I must return with this one. Fiora! Get your hands off her! Fiora! If you want her, come and get her. You are more than welcome on the Connie. Come and visit any time, Dunban! Munka! We're coming! And we won't give up! Find us, Monado, Sword of the Bionis. We will meet you on the battlefield. Fiora, we will find you!